Oh, Wilson, it's been a long day of jamming music tracks and playing with Bluetooth speakers and headphones because it is Sony season right now. Sony just dropped four new pieces of audio gear. The Alt Tower 10, the Alt Field 7, the Alt Field 1, and now we are talking about the Alt Wear, which is a direct replacement for their, um, I think it's the Sony WX, no, XB910s, the base headphones, because that's what Alt means. It means power. Okay, so uh, some people in my original video on my first channel, you asked me how do they compare to either like the Skull Candy Crushers or you know the XB910s. I don't have the XB910s here, uh, so I will compare them to the XM5s and lightly to the XM4s. And that's where we get into the first thing, okay, which is going to be aesthetics. So Wilson, if you just look in here, man, I want to show you how it looks like they just really just borrowed some elements from the XM4s and the XM5s. We have like, look at the ear cup. It's got this like rectangular, almost round rectangular shape. They borrowed that from the XM5s. But if you look at the yoke, you'll see that they borrowed that yoke stylage from, and, and this, these mics up here, they actually borrowed that from the XM4s. And if you look at the headband, you'll see that's a headband that's mostly reminiscent of the XM, uh, I'm sorry, of the XM4 as well. You got your cushion here. All the styling is exactly the same on the XM4s versus the new Alt Wear. Whereas they went completely different with the XM5s because this is their premium Starship flagship headphone right here. And with that being said, we get into comfort and amenities. If you look at the ear cups, you'll see that the actual ear cup is about the same, but when we get into the cushion, you'll see that you get a lot more cushion on the Alt Wear. But when you look at the uh, XM5s, you'll see that, that is memory foam there and your ear just kind of fall into that. It's like just falling into your favorite pillow at night before you go to bed. Whereas on the Alt Wear, if you get into this cushion, that's not memory foam, that's straight up foam. It's pretty dense, but it is still comfortable. Now in the, in the uh, conversation of comfort, that goes 100% to the Sony XM5s, man. This is comfort all day. Uh, Wilson, remember when you tried them all? He said, man, that's super comfortable. They like, were comfort. I wear these for every trip I go on and even sometimes have to wear them to sleep, especially when I'm traveling, because sometimes you get those hotels with those raggedy ass AC units just clanking and roaring in the background. And these headphones have come in clutch on numerous occasions. As far as comfort for the alt wear, they are very comfortable. They're just not nearly as comfortable as what you get with an XM5 if you're trying to make a decision between the two. And I guess what some of you would be wondering why I'm actually talking about making a decision between the two. And that is because in my previous video, I did say that because of the premium features you get with the Alt Wear, uh, I would say that they're like an XM5 with two levels of extra bass. And that is true in a lot of ways and then not true in some ways, okay? So let's talk about sound now. When you're talking about sound, Wilson said this. Wilson, you know what? You tell me, Wilson. What, what did you think about when we did our A-B test? So the alt wears, they were very heavy on the bass. Uh, alt 1 had a good amount of bass, but alt 2, I felt like was a little too much bass for me. That's a lot of bass. It's a lot of bass on the alt 2. Uh, with them off, I will say they're not as clear as the XM5s. I think the XM5s are really good on clarity, and they still have a good amount of bass to be comfortable and just overall, just comfort in general. It was just very comfortable to wear. All right, cool. So which one would you prefer? Because what, what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to like electronic, usually electronic. I listen to like like a lot of it, like real instruments as well. Uh -huh. So like piano music and that kind of stuff. I listen to all that kind of things. Okay. Um, if I were to choose one, I would say the XM5s. Are you going to be spending a little bit more money though? Yeah, I would. I would be spending a little more so money. you okay but with that? I like, yeah, I like, the, <laughs> okay. I like the clarity of the XM5s. I like the way that they, they sound. And that's just me. I'm just kind of going away from all the bass music, really. And okay. I'm just going for clarity, really. So you don't need the bass is what you're saying? Yeah, I don't need the bass, you need the, personally. You, you listen to more responsibly. Yeah, you can my say man, so. My yeah, man, my man. There you go. There yeah. You are. yeah. <laughs> All right, a little bass, but you got to be responsible with it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's Wilson's pick. Uh, my pick is actually the XM5 as well, but I do appreciate this extra level of bass, man. It's cool to have both of them. You know, I use swap back and forth because there are some songs, man. Remember when I put on Mask Off? Like, yeah. I don't want to listen to Mask Off with the XM5s because it's not going to give me that, that, that sitting, you know, with the 15s in the back of the trunk effect that the Alt would, would give me. You know, I want that extra rumble. So it just kind of depends on what kind of music you like. And that brings me to a point, man. 
I was watching some YouTube videos on these because there's not many out right now. And I saw this one channel, I'm not gonna disclose who it was, but you know, they, they pulled out their charts and their graphs and got on the computers and stuff. And they were like, you know, like they're bass heavy, right? Right off the rip. They are, if you EQ these the exact same, these are still going to be bass heavier than the XM5, even with the same exact EQ. But once you turn on Alt 1, you get that extra level of bass and then Alt 2 just gets insane. But this channel was talking about how they basically, in a way, just sound bad. It's just, you know, overboard or too much. And I'm thinking to myself, I wouldn't say that. They don't sound bad. It's just not for you. That's pretty much the bottom line. Like they made these headphones for people who like the freaking bass. Like if you're not a bass head and a hardcore bass lover, then pick something else, man. Sony has plenty of stuff to pick from. It's just like one of five different tiers of headphones that they have to pick from, which is dedicated to the bass lover. So for the bass lover in you, Sony Altware is where it's at, okay? Now, if you're gonna be more responsible to your eardrums, you can be like me and Wilson, man. You can join the grown folks club, get you some XM5s. <laughs> Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is sometimes I like to listen to mask off and I want some, I want some 15s in my trunk and I want to turn the gain knob up on the amp. So that's where you go with those. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.